Yes, the peg leg. Recent events unfolding. Coronavirus. The first wave of controlling us. Second wave, racial racial tensions. <laughs> well, people, they're even talking about a new king. Interesting indeed. Well, I'm sitting here right now, about to go into work, and it's peeing down with rain. Fun and games, fun and games. And we're talking about Vaxxed, Vax2, Bill Gates, oh that crazy dude, and they got the Q on, <laughs> oh my days, the jury's still out on that one, they reckon this President Trump is a really good guy, he's not a part of the Illuminati, free world, new world order should I say, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I haven't done a video in a long time and I thought well this morning is a really lovely day to do one but it's just me waffling as per usual you know oh uh, you can't catch the corona 19 it has to be injected into you when I was a kid all the other children got measles and stuff like that chicken pox our parents would make us go play with the child that's got it. And uh, come home and um, have it. <laughs> Scratching and all sorts. <laughs> and not in those places, people. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't think I'll be alive in this time, day and age. But here we are. Crazy things. Sorry, I was just looking at a truck going past. See if it'll make a lot of noise, but not too bad. The rain's more noisier. Uh, yeah, so this king and the queen, King George the Third. Everyone's talking about him. A lot of people on Facebook, mainly on YouTube. His name is Joseph, something called the other. He's either <laughs> Australian or from somewhere else, New Zealand or something like that. It doesn't matter. He's not even the rightful heir to the throne. He's just a geezer that has ties to the queen through, through a bloodline. And uh, all these people are thinking, uh, it's a good thing. We're going to have a new king. He's going to reset everything. It's not a good thing. I was watching one of these videos that he done with two other guys saying that, you know, he's going to get into power because they're sorting out the palace for him, painting it and stuff. Buckingham Palace, that is. Well, let's look at it like this. If he's saying he's going to reset everything in the sense of wipe everyone's debts out, this, that, the other, you know, set the, the people free from prison that, you know, deserve to be and get rid of all these paedophiles and stuff like that, that's all well and good. But when you're a German and you're a part of a German family that have stolen the throne, nah, I don't like it, I don't buy it. And I won't buy that for a dollar. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. Interesting times though. Really interesting times. A lot more people are waking up to this vaccine. This fraud of a vaccine. And this virus, this fraud of a virus. Oh, it's real. But it has to be injected. A lot of people are saying if you've been taking the old uh, flu jab, and you get tested, it will be positive for the COVID-19. Well, that could be true, because you know how sick these people are. It might not be true. But my money's on it being true. We are definitely living in some interesting times. 
The Queen's flag was up in the Buckingham Palace, which means she's there, but all the windows are blacked out. Interesting stuff. Uh, one of the plaques are missing from 10 Downing Street and the palace. I was speaking to someone and they were saying it was just getting cleaned, and other people were saying it's been removed because of this new King George III. Well, we'll be the judge of that, won't we, people? But when this George, King George III, came out and I sort of watched it on YouTube, I was like, this is going to be a guy that's going to be a friend to many and be good to people. And then things are going to kick off. Sorry, I'm just going to have a little swig of coffee. Mm. Things are going to kick off. Now, when I was listening to this guy, now, I used to believe in the Bible and Jesus Christ. Now, I don't because Jesus was made up by the council, the Roman council, back in the day. So, and a lot of people already know, the New Testament itself was written by the Jesuits. Rome never failed people. I've said this in many of videos. Anyway, so the New Testament is written by these people. So you've got revelations telling us everything that's going to happen. Now we all know all these things are going to happen and they have to tell you the truth in plain sight. And the New Testament was one way to do this. But it's also mind control. It's telling you what's going to happen, so you believe it's going to happen, so therefore, it's going to happen. <laughs> it makes me laugh that so many people believe this. You know, you, you don't have to go along with this. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is this, before I digress. Is that this new king, King George III, Joseph, whatever his name is, is the Antichrist. Because he's doing these videos with normal everyday people, right? And that's how they get you. And that's how I'll do it if I was the Antichrist. I will start off with the ordinary man and work my way up the chain. But still be a friend to the ordinary man. Because if you're a friend to the ordinary man, chances are you'll have great success, great power to do whatever you want. Now, people are waking up to the coronavirus, heading out to the parks, not social distancing. And now at work, I've got people talking about social distancing and they should social distance. And I hate using that word because I can't really say it properly. <laughs> Fact of the matter is, I respect those people that aren't social distancing. See, messed it up then. Um, where I work is a factory. I'm surrounded by people every day. Close, very close indeed sometimes. I'm being trained to do materials. So my trainer is always right next to me. And uh, they're all wearing their facial masks. I tried, I tried to put it one on the first day I came into work from the break. Our prison break by the way and that first day I put this mask on my face and then wore it all day to see what it would be like to do so to be one of the sheeple anyway got home and I felt so sick and tired I fell asleep at five o'clock I don't do that anyway next day what I decided to do as a test was only wear it for bits and pieces like that day so anyway for the next few days, I did this. But, in doing so, when I talked, I was fighting for breath. And I was wheezing and had a little cough with that. So yesterday, I said, uh-uh, no more. I'm not gonna do none of this, no more of this testing on myself, because my life matters. So, I didn't wear one yesterday. 
no one said nothing to me and even if, even if they did I would have put it up for five seconds and when they passed put it back down so I didn't wear it and guess what I didn't have none of that wheezing when I talked no cough nothing in fact I was absolutely feeling fine got home had bags of energy and I was doing hard work climbing up and down on machines and stuff it's crazy people <sighs> so from my own tests I know wearing a mask is not good for you and all those people at work who are sheeple definite sheeple I feel for you because you are the ones that are going to get tested and this that the other and get the app and all that now I'm a person that's working at this place for almost a year and uh, it's crazy I've lost my train of thought there because I just saw a friend a colleague yeah so I've worked there for almost a year and climbing up and down machines stuff like that and I've seen people do all sorts of things. But they're going to all be tested. And they're going to accept the app. I haven't taken their number. That's what I was trying to say. I don't have their phone numbers and stuff like that. And I'm glad because this, this app that tracks you. Now, if I had their numbers, some of them most definitely got it. And some of them haven't. So I've spoken to a few of them at work some of them are sort of awake and some of them are slightly awaker than the others and then you've got the ones that are not awake that are wearing these masks thinking oh it's a great thing and I tell them look it can't protect you from COVID-19 because it says so in the box and they're like oh yeah yeah okay I'll get what you're saying but they still wear the bloody mask now we know it is our right not to wear a mask at work because there is no law stating that we have to. Now, in the first few days, one of the main managers was just walking around without one. Now, it stands to reason he's a mason, so he knows a little something, something. But then, the day before yesterday, Thursday, no, Wednesday, he was wearing one. Another guy from work. <laughs> yeah, and yesterday he was wearing one. And uh, that surprised me. And he was wearing gloves as well. Really weird. The <laughs> funny thing is, I was driving home yesterday and uh, in the opposite direction coming towards me was an old geezer in a car with a mask on his face with the windows shut. <laughs> How ridiculous. Anyway, this video is getting too long. Time's getting on. Oh. Got to do another day at the uh, old slave farm. The old cotton fields. <laughs> but exciting times indeed. And not forgetting these uh, hospitals they've built. FEMA camps. Second wave. Fadji. Anyway, people, I've been the peg leg. And I'll talk to you soon, hopefully. Anyway, blessings. Keep it real. Keep it flat. I'm the peg leg. Laters.